good morning guys welcome to today it is the weekend it is oh it is it is Saturday and there are no babies but last night I swear I dreamed the whole night long God always talks to me in dreams I don't know why I can figure things out when he tells me in dreams so he always lets me dream all these crazy dreams so last night I dreamed just as I was waking up I saw a little brown and white fluffy baby goat sitting in the stall so I and it was shivering it was cold sitting in the middle of the stall shivering and it was just cold and so I know we're getting a baby goat I just don't know when we are what's today the third four days away from her expected due date she seems really tiny so I don't know but her udder seems really big so hopefully we got a baby this next coming week. Sam is taking me out for a date morning. Where are we going? Check out a toy store. A toy store for what? Um, Sam likes to buy toys for him. I mean, for my grandkids. <laughs> he likes to buy stuff for Jacob. Old plushes, movies, animated plush. So it's got like a bunch of older stuff. It's got animated stuff, which would be good to find some stuff for Gabby because we can never find stuff for her. Anyway, he likes to buy stuff for my grandkids. He likes to buy stuff for Jacob and keep it for the next time that we see him. He has like a stash of stuff that just Jacob plays with and I swear it's because Sam likes to play with it with him. So anyway, we're headed there. It's out of town. I'm excited. What city are we going to? Campbellford. We're headed out. I'm excited. We need some time alone off the farm, not doing animal stuff. But as of now, there are no baby goats born and all the ligaments are there. I checked them this morning. So if you don't know what that means, it means that usually the ligaments that are around the, the goat's tail disappear as birth becomes imminent. So usually about 12 to 24 hours before a baby is born, the ligaments soften and disappear so that the baby can make its way through the birth canal. So when I say I checked the ligaments, that's what I mean. I checked to make sure that's like the biggest sign, one of the two biggest signs. The other big sign that a baby is on the way is that the udder will suddenly fill completely up with colostrum. Um, and while our one goat does have a bigger than normal um, udder, she is still not popped. It's still not suddenly big and full so those are the two signs I'm waiting for those are the two signs that I watch every day but also our go our our goose has been laying every two days like a good girl so we got another egg today we're kind of Sophie's kind of over it I still love finding those things it, to me it's like the most beautiful thing ever right, we're here and it is a flea market I wasn't expecting it to be a flea market but I'm glad I love flea markets let's go you guys that's cool. It's huge in here. Cowboy boots. Look at those are so cute. What the heck? Horse stuff. What are these? What are these? That's a helmet. Oh my gosh. Ari would love that. And there's a purple one. That's cute. So these are grooming bag grooming things 40 bucks that's all expensive for that that's cute and then a bunch of like boots with horses on it that's cute and then a bunch of riding boots wow look at all this stuff coloring books look at Oh, that's so cute. That? Alright, so this was unexpected. How? What size is that blanket? Size 80. I don't know what kind of blanket it is. I mean, an 80 is a big giant blanket. That's not 80. Anyway, the prices in here are more than the tax store or even similar to the tax store. Oh. Wow. I mean, it's cool. Oh, saddles. All right, so there's a huge horse section in here. A weather vane. A weather Look at this, though. Sophie would love this. $95. Oh, come on. What is this? All 
All right, if I find a halter here that would fit a mini, I know Sophie wants one. 22 bucks. I can't buy a halter though. I don't know what size she wears. Like that's cute though. Some breeches and girth. Western stuff. <gasps> that's cute. Wow. Some gloves. Gabby needs new gloves. All right, this, this place is huge. Let's see what else they have. So they have saddles. I mean, that's pretty dirty. Does that stuff come off? Oh, it's soap. All right, some saddles. That's adorable. Let's see how much the saddles are. Oh, look. Oh, not on this side. There's no prices. Look for a tank. Two hundred dollars. <laughs> so people love that. Three hundred Wintech. Yeah, that's cute Wintech. Saddle pads. Okay, this store is expensive for used stuff, though. <laughs> Which is that? I'd rather, for a similar price, I'd rather buy brand new. All right, so this is adorable. Look at these. Sam loves him some stitch stuff. Look at that one. Is that one a cold one? A cold one? Yeah, look at this one with this fuzzy stuff on. Like, why is it fuzzy? I don't know. How much are they? 20 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. That's the, that's... 15 bucks, I think. I like this oh, one. Like this one's funny. All right, let's look. They're all like old <gasps> collectible. I love stuffed animals. That looks like your dog. That does look like my dog. They're actually cute. Star Wars stuff. But then, oh, look at that. Uh-oh. That's what Gabby likes. But I love Dumbo, and that is a cute Dumbo. Isn't that adorable? I actually love this. Lots of Lion King stuff. Pumbaa. Oh, so is this the anime stuff? Oh, this is cool. All these signs. I like this one. This is us. Our life, our story, our home. <laughs> this is funny. It's better to have loved and lost than to live with the psycho the rest of your life. <laughs> Tons. Oh, maybe this is anime stuff. I don't think it is, though. But look at they've got two horses over here. It is sunny up today. That was unexpected. A lot of horse stuff. But it was all like older stuff. And it was the same price as new stuff. So better to buy new unless you get a good deal but that was fun that was like a blast from the past you guys get that nostalgia feeling you see something that you played with when you were little or that you like had when you were little or your siblings had like that was cool hi guys welcome to i have my glasses on <laughs> i usually use them for reading but welcome to the cooking section on the day by day farm today today we decided to get some chicken wings and I just decided to cook some chicken wings differently today. So this is uh, my new way of cooking chicken wings. I'll show you in a second because I'm just flipping them over. I'm frying them up. First I boiled them a bit. Now I'm frying them up. And cooking them with hot sauce. Pouring hot sauce on them. These are not the traditional way that we normally cook them. We usually fry them, but I'm trying something different. I made ribs the other day, and what I did was I tried a recipe and I boiled them and cooked them in soy sauce. And they turned out really good, although they were really salty because I didn't use the salt-free soy sauce. I'm going to use barbecue sauce on top of them, but these are my wings. Those ones I already did, and they're in there, and they're cooking now in the pan. 
in uh, sauce. Once these are fried up a bit, I will put them in the other pan and let them cook in the sauce and thicken up. All right, so there it is. I stirred it in there. I'm gonna put tin foil on there and cook them up and uh, they'll be ready when Laura's are ready. That's Sam's special chicken wings. We need everybody to come in and decide which ones look better. But these are the wings. Sam and I both had a competition. He likes his way. I like my way. I think he likes my way. So I want to show you guys what they look like. Here, wait, I'm going to move them. Okay. Here they are. Pick which one you think is more appetizing. So there's this. Is that yours? These are hot chicken wings. Or, oops. Or there's these. These ones are still a little bit hot. I would say mine are healthier. Listen, we're saying mine, which ones taste the best. I know, but mine are healthier. All right, you guys, have one. Try each one of each. We're gonna also have veggies. Wings and veggies. Right, here comes Gabby. This is what you do on a cold day, you guys. One of these. Right, try them. I've got veggies. They're just about cooked. How spicy is it? They're both the same kind of spicy. Why, you don't like spicy? You do like spicy. Yeah, I do. Mm, which one's really good? The really, the really red ones? Really good, crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. I like these ones better. You like the, Sylvie's choice is this one. Cause I like the texture of this one. Yeah, I like the texture of that kind too. Which ones do you choose, Sam? No, wait, you can't choose yet because you're going to, I you would, mine. no. Don't choose yet. This one's not that hot. Yeah. Some of them were ready before others. I can tell who cooked who. How can you tell? So Gabby will just choose her dad because she just will choose her dad. Choose She's daddy's like girl. Choose which one you like better. Just try them. They both taste the same. I like no, those ones better. You like those ones better? Yeah. Uh, well, it's official. They both picked mine. And mine are an old fashioned family recipe long before people started to really get into making chicken wings. Well, I like My mine. parents are hu were huge foodies and loved chicken wings. So I learned the recipe and perfected it. And everybody picked mine. It's a rare thing on the day by day it's farm for mess. anybody to pick anything of they mine. They taste the same though. This one, I don't want to Yeah, mine are crispy on the outside. So we got smart and we started locking the dogs in this side when we let the goats in each night and it's working so much better. Um, so I, looking at my calendar, it's a race. It could be Tilly or Blossom that go first. We're going to find out. But last night I had a dream and the dream was that I found a brown and white fluffy baby in the stall. So we're going to see. It's a race, you guys. So I don't think her udder looks any different, but she does look a little more low. But Blossom's udder seems to be stuck at where it is. She's not super tiny, or she's not, she's so super tiny. Her belly is super tiny. So I just don't see her, although she looks bigger. If you look at her, if you look at her at the side, she just doesn't look pregnant. If you look at her straight on though, she looks like she's got some pretty big baby, a pretty big baby in there. And then this one looks like she has twins for sure. And she had twins the first time. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the